Gardens makes this 50th anniversary celebration special. An unmatched level of dominance defeated 11 of 12 teams by at least a 17 point margin, an average margin of victory of over 27 points. This team not only fought on to victory on the field, but showed the country what it meant to be a Trojan. The social and cultural impact of this team changed the trajectory of college football, and that impact lives on today, especially here at USC. They united and capped off an undefeated season by defeating number three ranked Ohio State in the Rose Bowl to secure the national championship. Now, let's meet them. And now, please welcome back members of the 1972 team joining us this evening. Defensive tackle, George Pollard. He worked as an executive in his professional career. Number 61, offensive guard, Alan Kraft. A second unit director and stunt coordinator. Tailback, Rod McNeil. A retired minister, singer, grandfather, and husband. Defensive back, Daniel Reese, punt returner, the last captain of John McKay's 97-6 team. Retired NFL player intercepted more passes than any SC cornerback. Defensive back, Mark Spino, who worked as a developer. Tied in, Dean Lingenfelter, who worked as a solar contractor. Defensive back, Charles Phillips. A retired therapeutic behavior specialist. Tied in, Charles Young, purveyor of home. Defensive tackle, Kevin McPartland. CEO of Social Service Company, enabling adults with abilities. Tailback, Anthony Davis. Real estate. Defensive tackle, Greg Hardarian, retired commercial real estate broker. And manager of the 1972 team, Jeff Lamar. And now speaking on behalf of the 1972 team, please welcome team captain, Charles Young. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the 1972 National Championship team and, and all of these guys up here, there are some who are not here, some who wish they could be here. We didn't have enough time. We are, as you can see, we are mature now. <laughs> and <clears throat> I am not a politically correct individual. Yeah. And so, I heard that uh, the AD was giving out a Marv Goo award. Marv Goo was a man that we all know. And see, when we played, we played football. See, it may not look like it now. See, but, see, but all of these gentlemen here, all of these gentlemen, these are great individuals. And I define greatness by overcoming great challenges. And we had many. And just like this, group that's coming out here now who are taking on and putting on what they call the Trojan uniform. We believed in fight on. See, we don't know if you know what that means now. See, but fight on means when your back is up against the wall, you still fight. When everything is against you, you still fight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Un momento, por favor. I don't have much time. I'm not going to be like the athletic director. I'm not a politician, so I have to get directly to the point. We, we as mature Trojans, expect great things out of this year's coming team. We don't want it any. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have much time. We don't want any excuses. We want you to find out 
what fight on means. You can Google it. It means when it get tough, you still fight on. That's what this university is supposed to stand for. And so, and so we came all the way back from wherever we, I came from Austin, Texas. And you can see the hat right there. See this, see this hat is a hat of distinction. And every time, and every time that you go somewhere, you represent SC. And so everywhere I go, I represent SC. And I know what it means. And see, no one has to tell me about what fight on means. In that Coliseum, all of these gentlemen here, these gentlemen here that you see right now, look at them. Look at Alan Graff, Rod McNeil, Martin Spino, Dean Lingenfelder, Charlie Phillips, all of these people. We came to show you what a national championship team looked like. See, we didn't say it. They said it. In some people's mind, we are the greatest team that ever embraced this, this school. And so all of you who are true Trojans, get behind your team and encourage them. Because the Bible says a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in a frame of silver. And what that means is if you give a person the right word at the right time, you inspire them. And inspire is a Greek word. And what it means is that you breathe life into them. Right now, SC is almost a dead school. And so it, it, life needs to be brought into it. So inspire them. So they will stand and be what they're supposed to be and not crumble like a Kmart deck chair. <laughs>